Hey, this is Robert Stennett. I'm here with another episode of Exploring Windows 7. Today we're going to talk about one of the cool new features of Windows 7 that makes your digital life a little easier to maintain. That is the Devices and Printer setting, which is accessible from your Start menu. We'll go ahead and bring this up, and we're going to talk about a few things here. First of all, notice the layout. As you add devices to your computer, say printers, uh, digital cameras, battery backups, wireless keyboards, you name it, anything, you know, it could be USB, uh, uh, serial, uh, if you still use that, even Firewire, uh, and it'll detect it here. And it'll put it in a nice, easy to manage interface that makes it a little easier, especially for people who don't really like to get behind the scenes too much with their computer. So it's, they, when, Microsoft has really tried to make this simple for everyday users, both you know, everyone from the beginning uh, all the way up to people who've used Windows for a number of years. So in this devices and printers uh, settings, if you're going to notice here I got my monitor, my battery backup, my digital camera, which is currently disconnected, a webcam, this is actually my actual computer, and my wireless keyboard and mouse, along with all my printers. And down here, unspecified, this is actually my uh, Logitech headset I'm using right now. So what's the difference between this and just going to the old-fashioned control panel device manager. Well, the cool thing here is for each of these, there's sort of, uh, depending on what device it is, you'll get different menus. So it's almost like it's a little bit context sensitive. You can see for my monitor, I get display settings. For my battery backup, I don't get much except properties, which I can go to. For my webcam, I can change my sound settings, go to Logitech support site. For my wireless mouse and keyboard, I can change my region, I can even change my keyboard settings if I wish to, and things of that nature. So it, Windows 7 knows what type of devices these are, and if the manufacturer has provided information, or if Microsoft has that information it can download online, you'll see these menus change. Now the cool thing is, when we get down especially into our printers, I'm going to go ahead and double click on my Dell laser printer here. You'll see I'm taken to a, a different screen, a little more detailed information. Now keep in mind, I've had this printer since Windows XP, and so this is not a new printer. It's nothing uh, exclusive to Windows 7 at all. This is just something that Microsoft has gotten the information for, put into Windows 7, and it helps you know helps you maintain your uh, digital life a lot easier. So here, you know, I can see what's printing. Click, double click on that. It'll bring up our print queue. Well, nothing's printing right now. I can click on customize my printer. We get the old properties box like we used to by going to uh, our control panel printers and settings. I can even change, you know, my paper size with just a click. Get my printing preferences uh, up here. So what they've really done is they've taken all the stuff we used to have to hunt for. We used to have to go to device manager. We'd have to go to control panel printers. If we're doing with sound or webcams, you know, we'd have to go to our sound settings and webcam software. You know, usually we even had to uh, install special software even to even get to these controls. So in Windows 7, they're bringing all these controls into a centralized interface, and they're making it real easy for everyone to you know maintain, add, even remove devices. So if you haven't checked this out, give it a try. I think you're really going to enjoy it. I'm Robert Stinnett. I'll see you again next time.